Thanks for checking out this Web Extra. I had a long conversation with Illinois congressional candidate Latisa Wallace. We couldn't fit all of it in this week's For the Record. We pick it up with the infighting in Congress among Democrats. Representative Wallace, what do you think of the division within the Democratic Party in Washington, specifically between moderates and progressives, where progressives threaten to actually stall the president's agenda if they don't get everything they want? Well, look, let me be clear. I certainly would have voted for the infrastructure bill that just passed recently. It's going to put many people back to work and replace the aging infrastructure of our nation. We're one of the greatest countries on the planet. We should have safe um, infrastructure. We should also have our skilled tradesmen and all of these, uh, the kind of micro economy that grows around um, these types of jobs. We should be working to strengthen that and maintain that. The broadband accessibility is certainly an issue in the 17th district, so I'm very um, excited that that infrastructure plan was passed and we'll be able to give accessibility to individuals and hopefully begin to end the digital divide that we see in our state and in our nation. But you know, we have to figure out ways, as I stated before, to exploit the common ground and not let the perfect be the enemy of good. So I, I believe and I am hopeful that uh, the Democratic caucus will come together and pass the Build Back Better plan and also advance some of the other measures we talked about, ensuring uh, access to voting rights, strengthening women's uh, protections around reproductive freedom, and just making sure again that our economy is recovering from COVID. You just mentioned don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Do you fear that some Democrats might make that happen? No, I don't fear that. I believe that they are listening to their constituents and doing what they believe is right for their districts. And at the end of the day, I believe that people will come together and think about what is right for the uh, entire nation, which is ultimately their goal as our uh, legislative body at the, the federal level. So I believe that people will find the common ground and that will come from hearing from each other and what each respective districts, voters and residents are saying and coming up with what is going to be for the greater good of everyone. Will you run your campaign promoting the president's agenda or will you run away from it? I will not run away from it. As, again, as I stated, there's some wonderful things in that agenda. One being um, extending the, the child tax credit. I think that is one way that we can start to become, um, recover economically from the pandemic. Having a few extra dollars in a family's bank accounts will allow them to be able to do some things that they might not have been able to do as individuals may have lost work or had reduction in hours during the pandemic. Um, again, the, the access to universal child care and the infrastructure bill that has already passed, I certainly would have voted for that. So it really will be about listening to the residents of the 17th and making sure that whatever is being proposed in Washington is something that's going to improve the quality of life of the residents here. We have a long way to go until the June primary. Latisa Wallace, thank you so much for the conversation. Certainly look forward to talking with you again before then. Good luck with the campaign.